Hi everyone, my name is Adil. Um, I go on Instagram as Adil Bugatti. And today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to customize your iPhone home screen with the widgets. Um, widgets have been out for quite a while right now. And I recently got a request, I don't know if it's from a follower or from just somebody that saw uh, one of my um, Adobe Lightroom tutorials via my reels. And they said that they wanted to see a tutorial on how to actually set up your widgets so that uh, your clock face and your date and time can show up in an aesthetically pleasing way to match your wallpaper. Uh, I'm a big fan of wallpapers. I think I've spent like quite a bit of time um, trying to choose the right one every now and then. I always change it up. Anyways, let's get right into it. So uh, I'm not exactly sure the iOS um, that widgets came out from, uh, but I'll tell you the iOS that I'm running right now. So the iOS that I have right now is 14.5.1. I did not update the software because I'm afraid of uh, some of the bug fixes uh, that might affect battery life on this phone. Uh, so let's get straight into it. I'm gonna uh, start recording. Um, three, two, one and I'm recording right now. So I'm screen recording right now. And yeah, this is my, what my home interface looks like. So I took out the other the previous wallpaper setup that I had and I'm just gonna get straight into it. All right, so let's say that um, I find a wallpaper, right? I'm actually just gonna go straight into my photos right now. Let's see. I don't know, how about that? No, not that. I said to choose something cool. Ah, those are dogs. Okay, cool. Let's just take the dog photo. Wait, you know what, you know what? I Cars has just been the thing forever. So there we go. Zay's M6. <laughs> All right, so this is like one of my favorite shoots uh, that I ever did with his uh, BMW M6 Grand Coupe. Anyways, uh, let's get straight into how to actually uh, set up this wallpaper or this image so that the widget be uh, behaves seem seamlessly on your screen and looks seamless on, on your screen. Um, I'll show you, actually show you a picture of the look right here. Um, this is the type of look that we're trying to go with. Uh, so for in order for you to get um, this look, you're gonna need to download one app uh, the application is called, I'm gonna search for it right now, it's called Widget Smith, all right? You're looking at this application right here right now, Widget Smith, all right? So within Widget Smith, there's a bunch of settings, there's a bunch of options you can utilize in order to um, actually um, control your widgets, control the background pictures of the widgets, control how the clock faces look, um, and control what information is represented by the widget. All right, so we're gonna get straight into it. I already have my widget smith set up here, but just for, uh, just for, just to show you how it's done, I'm gonna add it again. So, widgets, uh, sorry, that's Chrome, widget smith. All right, so there's a bunch of options here. We have small, medium, and large. You're gonna go with the small one for now because this is the one that I'm using, and this is the tutorial. This is what the tutorial is based off of. Um, okay, cool. So let's go with the small. All right, so it's going straight for one of my options that I have within Widget Smith. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead. As you can see, I've got a bunch of options here. You can create multiple different uh, faces for this uh, widget and then activate those widgets within uh, your selection. Okay, so yeah, this is Widget Smith. This is how this operates and yeah, I just this is um, this is me just showing you from that that side. Um, this is how the app, uh, the application looks um, when you open it up. You'd obviously go and you'd add a widget and you'd modify it from there. I'll get into that right now. Okay, perfect. So let's go back to the home screen. Let's go back to the picture. All right. So we're gonna go straight to the picture. All right. You got your picture. You're gonna go and use this as a wallpaper. All right, um, I'm just gonna turn that perspective zoom off. I don't like it on. All right, so I'm gonna line it up and I'm gonna set it as both, okay? 
So now I've set that perspective zoom as both. And now my wallpaper is in place. My wallpaper is ready. I'm just gonna remove this for a minute. Okay, cool. So that wallpaper is in place. And the next app that you wanna actually have, um, it's called Fonto. You'll see an image right over, over here right now. It's in my screen recording. Fonto is the next app that you wanna have um, going forward. All right, so in order to set up, before we go into Widget Smith, you're gonna need to uh, do this process, all right? Go here, hold down on the screen somewhere in order to activate this area here, swipe to the right, and then you're gonna screenshot. All right, you're gonna screenshot that area, you're gonna tap again, you're gonna go back to the front, and you're gonna screenshot the area with your widget smith that you've placed on your screen. You would have placed this widget in accordance to where you would have, um, where, you, where, you, where you would want your widget placed with, uh, on your home screen. Uh, just look at the way that I've got mine set up right here. This is just my preference. There's many ways to set uh, set this whole face up here, but we're gonna focus on this clock and the date and time area for the moment right now. All right, so I think I've screenshot all of that. I think I've screenshot both of it. All right, so we've got those screenshots lined up right here. And from there, I'm gonna go into Fonto. Sorry about these dogs. Dogs are making noise. Okay, so from there, I'm gonna go into Fonto. I'm going to open up the blank image first. All right, the, the blank image without any applications on it, nothing, that's blank. Open that up quickly, go to add image, and you're gonna add the other image that with all the applications and the position of your exact uh, widget smith um, widget um, on top of this. You're gonna resize it, all right, you're gonna resize it, and you're gonna move it, you're gonna center it again, and you're gonna size it, all right? You're gonna size that. Try and match it up exactly to that other size of the image. Cool, so I'm just gonna turn on the alpha for a minute so I can get the size correct. And I'm gonna come in here and size it accordingly. Um, okay, that's perfect. All right, I'll turn the alpha off just for now. I'll just apply a solid image. And then from there, I'll go and add another item. And I'm gonna add this uh, transparent square. So like the outline square, I'll come here and I'll position this square above the widget smith, above the actual widget, sorry. Try and line this up. I don't know if I'm even using the best example in order to show you, but you wanna line up this square with this exact size, with this exact, um, yeah, with the exact size of the widget. So that kind of almost lined up perfectly right there. Yeah, that kind of, uh, yeah, sort of there. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm not gonna, if you can get it better, do so. Um, this is just for tutorial purposes. It's gonna still come out pretty decent because I've got another, go another good tip is to always like Go for a wallpaper where there's a lot of like blank space and sky because it works better than it's almost it works more seamless more seamlessly there um but it is possible with more complicated uh more like busier pictures uh but yeah let's just continue with this so the sky in the background here so as you can see i've have uh, located the widget smith uh widget on the screen and i've marked it in red um so now i'll just go ahead and delete this first top picture and i'll remove it as you can see, that spot is highlighted. That is the spot we're gonna be focusing on. So I'll go from here and I'll save this image. All right, so image saved, perfect. From there, I will go to the image in my gallery. I'll open it up and I'll literally edit it in the photo app. So you're gonna open up the crop. You're gonna select the crop method and you're gonna select square. From there, you're gonna take the square and you will go towards that highlighted area Zoom in, all right, just get in a, get in, get into that area and then I'm gonna go freeform because I, I like to do it better this way. It just helps with accuracy, with uh, getting into that square. You're gonna get into that square with the crop so that you get this image cleanly cut. You want a cleanly cut image, all right? Doesn't have to be 
ridiculously clean once again i'm just doing this for tutorial purposes but on your side you try your best to get it as clean it's not going to take you too much time all right so there we go i just said done and that that is the image this is this piece that we're going to be focusing on you're going to take this piece right here you're going to click on your widget smith on your home screen wherever you've positioned it all right the exact one that you have activated and i'll show you how to activate that in a minute but i'm going to go with the one that i have activated all right and I'm gonna click on this as the default widget. And so I've already got my theme, I've already got that whole uh, theme set. So I'm just gonna select my, my photo and go to that exact photo that I've cut off. And boom, there it is. I've set that and I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna click save. So now that is saved, right? As you can see, it's done. That's it, that's it, seamless. Um, seamless wallpaper uh, or seamless time and date on the uh, home screen on my phone this is the main page so as you can see i've got the weather underneath there and i've got another app here if you're interested it's called and i'll show you right now it's called dawn uh, you can either get the paid version or just stick with the normal unpaid version just use that as a calendar app it looks pretty cool you can choose uh, this actually switches with the mode so whether you're in night mode or uh, light mode um, yeah that color this color here will change from black to white but other than that the yeah this is my setup i've set these widgets up in order to um to make my life easier i mean like i have i'm right-handed so i have all access from the right side i have all my information on the day i guess on the left everything that i need, that I'd need for like okay cool today sunday whatever the weather is 13 degrees and the date is so and so and so i've got a full calendar here so i can see you know where we are within the month that's just my setup um on the right side i've got all the essentials instagram whatsapp telegram photos settings camera all the things that i have at my fingertips all set up right here and when i scroll I just have some screen time, Google Lens, and some other random shit. Google, I mean, sorry, social media. Yeah, all the stuff that I barely use. And then obviously these are other widgets here, Binance, TradingView. These are just information widgets. I just scroll to it when I want to see the prices of certain cryptos or indices. So let me just go quickly back in depth with the Widgetsmith app and how to customize the actual face. So you click in the widgets, click on the default widget. There's a bunch of different options here, right? Bunch of different options. Uh, time, uh, time and location, clock. I'm sure you can see it's pretty self-explanatory when you look through all these things here. Like if you'd want the time, uh, there's a bunch of options you could go for there in that widget space, I mean, in that widget format, uh, in that square widget format. Um, there's the date, there's photos, so I can use a uh, certain, I can, I obviously want a photo background, right? So I'd go to the photo date and time, right? So it's the photo background, it allows me to apply a photo to the background with the date and time. So you'd go photo, date and time, then you go aesthetic and theme. There's a bunch of different themes, a lot of them are locked. I just wanted the basic ones for certain, for, well, I don't really care about all these other nonsense um themes here but if you want to it looks i don't know if you're into that go for it no judgment there it's just from my side i like basic simple stuff customize just go all out customize to your house extent and yeah basically that is how i create uh the look for look and feel for my widgets i the, the main focus is to use uh, photos to use the photo because you want to be able to select a photo in the method that I showed you uh, in order to get the seamless look right here with your home screen all right so when I unlock my phone sorry that screen recording stopped so when I unlock my phone and the screen recording will start right now uh, when I unlock my phone that is what I see all right I get um, all this information uh, along with that very very clean looking uh, date and time yeah i hope this tutorial helps 
the main things here is just those two apps, Widget Smith, Fonto, and uh, you need to have, yeah, so it's Widget Smith, Fonto, and you need to have, um, yeah, you just need to have a, a, a cool wallpaper. Doesn't matter what it is, like even if your background, you can do the complicated backgrounds, it just won't come out as clean. Uh, but skies are suggested, like any blank spaces in that corner, whatever corner you want to place your widget uh, is, is, is preferred or is, is going to work out much better in your favor with getting that clean look um, with the wallpaper. All right, so widget smith and fonto. That's it, done and dusted. And you obviously use your photos and you edit it and you crop the square, you get the picture out of it, done, dusted. Simple. Those are the keys. Um, I hope this tutorial was uh, helpful to you. I certainly enjoy doing this all the time. I change my wallpaper maybe once a week. Seriously, like whenever there's a new color, whatever there's a, whatever I shoot that's new, I always change it. Or if I feel like I want to get like a landscape shot, like stuff that I don't usually shoot, something cool, something new to look at, I always change my wallpapers up. Uh, I probably should make a wallpaper bank uh, for with all the shoots that I've done. Maybe you guys would like that because I've actually had a recent request uh, to um, send people certain images for wallpapers so they can use on their phones um, because I've like showed examples of my wallpapers to them. But yeah, 100% uh, I dig this look. And yeah, the iOS, uh, any iOS that can operate with widgets should be able to do this. And if you're able to download Fonto and uh, widget smith done deal once again i hope you like this tutorial i talk too much <laughs> all right thanks guys mm -hmm.